Hi, so I am Jennifer Kent, and I am going to be sharing a little bit on this blog what I'm learning. And it's something I'm really excited about, something I'm trying in my own classroom, and it's about multimedia in education and using multimedia in the classroom and creating multimedia for my classroom. And if you are learning or excited about this too, I hope you'll join me in the next eight weeks as I'm taking this class and I'm going to be sharing what I learn about it. So the first thing I wanted to share with what, what am I reading? Um, because I, I love to read and learn more about it, and I'm doing this for my class. But the first thing I'm reading is Multimedia Learning, Second Edition, Richard E. Mayer. And so this book is fantastic because it talks all about the research. And I am I'm such a believer, and we do it because there's research to back up what we do best practices, right? And so in the classroom, we now have um, knowledge and research to back up that using multimedia education or multimedia in education makes a difference. And it can make a difference for the learning for your students, and it can make a difference in how they're learning and transferring that knowledge. And that's a big part of this book is not just to know, but also to transfer that knowledge and the best ways to do that using multimedia education. The other book I'm reading is called Playing with Media, Simple Ideas for Powerful Sharing by Wesley Fryer. And this book is fantastic. I, I've downloaded both of them on my Kindle app. And I really recommend, if you're interested, the Playing with Media because it has lots of other articles and links and connections and images and illustrations. And it's so practical and down to earth. And I have to share with you one of my favorite quotes from the reading. It says, the mere use of technology does not constitute or guarantee good teaching. Isn't that something we're all afraid of, right? That maybe this computer will somehow be better than what I can do in my classroom. And that's never going to happen. Here's the rest of the quote. Good teachers always strive to find effective ways to reach, inspire, and engage students in the learning process. However, and media technologies have potent capacities to enhance learning. Outstanding teachers in the 21st century, like their predecessors, will be defined not only by their content knowledge, but also by the effective ways they are able to inspire, relate to, and motivate students to stretch beyond their acknowledged limits. Technology should and will play an integral role in these processes of growth for students. To utilize me media effectively with younger generations of students, we need to play with media as educators to better understand its capabilities as well as effective uses. Play with media. This is something that I am learning so much about. It doesn't come natural. I have to figure it out. I have to grow along with the technology and, and try something out for the first time. And that's something that I'm really excited about this year. One of the things I'm trying out right now are screencasts. Someone had once said this, and I had no idea what they were talking about, but it's so great. Read my blog. I just talked about two different ways um, that you can use a screencast. That PowerPoint or image that you have, you can put words and video with it. It's fantastic. I tried it, and honestly, it was a little tough the first time, especially because I don't like the sound of my voice, although I should get used to it. I'm going to be doing vlogs. But it was fantastic. Okay, so try it out because I think those are great how-to ways to try something, teach students especially how to use new technology, which is something that I've been using it for. Last thing is, what are some of my goals this, this course and this year in my classroom? I really want to find a way to blend teach good teaching with media, not always having to create myself, but using some of the things out there, some of the great videos with TED Ed um, and, and even Brain Pop, but design lessons that use the multimedia to enhance learning. I want to figure out ways to make my students learn, be able to transfer what they know, and be more successful in my subject matter. I hope you'll join me as I continue to explore this more, and I'll see you next week.